Fed Chair Powell also cementing the idea of a 50 basis point hike at the May meeting says it is on the table. Joining us is Mohamed Alarian, Allianz chief economic advisor. Expeditiously, I think, is the new Fed, Fed buzzword because they're all talking about expeditiously getting to neutral. And that means we're going to be seeing a lot of Fed rate hikes. Sh should the market be surprised about this, Mohamed? No, the market has been leading the Fed. And it is the Fed that has been slow to recognize the inflation problem and to signal strong action. You know, think about it. When inflation was 4 to 5 percent, Chair Powell was repeating, it is transitory, it is transitory, it is transitory. At 8.5 percent, he's not sure whether it's the peak. Now we're talking about 50 basis points hike when we were talking about perhaps not getting even one hike in the whole of this year. So this is a massive move in the Fed. But it's one that is late relative to developments on the ground and relative to where the market has been. So what does that mean? Now do you think they've got it? And, and so what the market's pricing in, I think, 12, 25 basis point hikes in the next year. You think that's about right? So I think they've got it, or at least I understand much better and they've been humble. It's interesting and concerning that break-evens went up today. Um, Ten-year break-evens are above 3 percent at record levels. So that's not a good thing to, say, to see on a day when F Fed Chair Powell says what he says. Look, they're going to need three things, skill, time, and luck to get to a soft landing. Um, I'm particularly worried about the time because a lot of time has been lost in not recognizing the true nature of inflation and not in taking action. It's only a month since we stopped injecting liquidity into this economy. So we've got a long way to go to tighten financial conditions. So what if the market is right when we get two, three 50 basis point hikes, to three double hikes, basically, May, June, July? What does that do to the economy and what does it do to inflation? I think I am among those who are worried that by now having to hit the brakes hard, as opposed to easing off the accelerator last year, that we may have a high risk of a not just slowing economy, but we can be tipped into recession. I mean, you, you've heard many people tell you history is not comforting. History suggests that when the Fed is this late, the probability of a recession is uncomfortably high. Let's hope they can avoid it, and let's hope they have the skill, the time, and the luck to do so. But if you think the odds are increasing of a recession or, or a, a mistake or an increasing slowdown, then, then would you be buying bonds here? Because they keep selling off and the 10 year yield is almost at 3 percent. No, because of where we started from. We started from very repressed levels and we are adjusting to a new paradigm. Look, Sarah, it's going to take the market time to realize that this is a completely different liquidity paradigm. I think the bond market has understood it more than the equity market. Having said that, the bond market hasn't fully finished its adjustments. The good news for long-term investors with cash is that value is being restored in many segments of the market. That's the good news. The bad news is the journey to this point, and in the next few weeks and months, is still going to be pretty bumpy.